Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Fix My Oculus. Today we're going to take apart the MetaQuest 3 controller. The way I'm going to start this off is I'm going to carefully take off the front faceplate. There's a lot of adhesive underneath the faceplate, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pry tool, kind of go around the outside edge, and then I'm actually going to force my way in underneath to sever more of that adhesive that's in the center portion. You want to be careful here because the ribbon cables that track the controller are also underneath the faceplate. So we don't want to damage those at all. After that I'll take my screwdriver. Right now I'm using a T5 bit and I'll just go around and take the screws out of the front. There's a couple screws that hide in here so Make sure you don't miss anything before you start trying to disassemble the controller. After I've completed taking out those screws, I'll take out the screws that are in the battery compartment. There's a label here that covers up several of the screws. I'm going to use a combination of an X-Acto knife and a pry tool to remove this label carefully. The label should come all off in one piece. And once we're done with that, we can take the screws out from underneath the label. Once all my screws are out, I can start disassembling the controller. I'm going to start disassembling the controller by removing this top portion that has the motherboard, the trigger, and the joystick, as well as the buttons. There's a couple cables to look out for here, so I'm going to carefully remove them. Once that's complete, I can disassemble the rest of the controller by just pulling the pieces away. Be careful to take out the vibrator motor from the power connection board. Looking at this controller, I can tell that part of the issue was corrosion on the battery compartment. I think because of the, the fact that you're holding the controllers and people have a tendency to sweat into them all the time, those are just really prone to liquid damage. The trigger on this is the same mechanism as the Quest 2. It's just held in with a retaining rod. Removing that removes the whole trigger. And then I can go around and detach the joystick as well as the buttons from the motherboard. This teardown is actually a little simpler than the Quest 2, at least this portion of the process, because the joystick isn't mounted into the motherboard it's mounted into the surface plate and the motherboard can just come off easily. At this point, we can remove the joystick. If joystick repair was your end goal here, this is where you kind of want to be. Just two screws that hold it in place and then the joystick comes out. At this point, you can get a new joystick module and pop it in there. Alrighty guys, that pretty much wraps it up for the Quest 3 controller teardown. If you have any other questions or you want to reach out to us uh, for more information or parts, you can always reach out to us on the website. Uh, please like and subscribe. We're doing our best to grow this little channel into something that uh, we hope helps more people repair their Oculuses and, and Quest devices. 